These are all my thoughts and opinions based on public information out there. Please do your own research. And this is for entertainment purposes only. Um, I usually like to talk about events and what we can do to sort things out, you know, instead of complaining. Complaining is a good way to go about it, but you know, it's good to complain effectively too. Like if you have options to write to MPs, you write and you write and you write until um, they hear you because, you know, um, the first rule that MPs have is to dismiss you because they don't want to do the work or any government representative. They don't want to do the work. So any request you send is additional work, especially if it's about something that's not popular or um, that it would be, that would damage their careers if they took out, even if it's a righteous cause. So, but today I wanted to talk a little bit um, about Sarah, uh, sorry, about Meghan Markle and a little bit of Sarah Ferguson because she doesn't compare to Princess Diana. She may be using her watch to do her crap, but you know, but she she's she's a she's a Sarah, you know, Sarah Ferguson. She's <laughs> nothing second best, third, fourth best. Um and I started to to the problem is that she's here and now she's taking uh the abusing of the titles to a new level, right? Um So I started doing a little bit of investigation and, and about this woman, I'm going to put it out there. You guys give me your opinions. Okay. And if you have any info, please let me know. Many people have said that she's a sociopath, a narcissist. Yeah, she is all of those. Um, the, the thing though with her is that she's a woman who doesn't like to work hard or doesn't like to put put in the work required to earn her stuff for example and many of you are going to come back to me and say well she was an actress and she was trying to do her best and blah 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 no Meghan Markle is a man-made woman it means that she didn't achieve things on her own or through her own merit she used men to get where she is so I started thinking, first, her father provided for the best education ever that anybody could have. Uh, she lived in a very nice home, uh, took very nice holidays. Um, she lived in luxury. She lived a very luxurious life. Uh, she went, and uh, now, you know what's freaky? Princess Diana attend, uh, went to... Um, visited Northwestern University in 1996, a year prior to her death, um, to give a speech about cancer. She was doing this uh, fundraiser. And so she went there to, to Northwestern University, which makes me wonder whether that's why Meghan Markle went there. So I want to get a little bit about the university thing because some people are still arguing many things. <laughs> so yesterday, <laughs> I had some time off. So I decided to call Northwestern University again, because I have called them in the past. And I asked them, you know, I said, I want my daughter to attend your university. Um, would it be possible? Um, which, which undergraduate degree must she take in order for her to have and ma to major in theater? Oh, she, the, the lady was very nice. Oh, she says, uh, communications. And I said, how about international studies? And she says, I'm sorry, we don't offer um, um, the major of theater for the undergraduate in international studies. You know, she would have, if she wants to major in theater, she will have to take um, the communications degree, which makes sense. And for people who are having trouble understanding this and why this is a very terrible lie and that she says with no problem at all because I asked her a lot more. I recorded the conversation. At the end of the conversation, I did inform uh, the university that I had recorded them and they told me not to publish the conversation. And I'll tell you why in a little minute. <laughs> 
So, so I said to them, but so my daughter would have to take the BA in communications in major in theater. And she says, absolutely. And she says, and that's about four year degree. Uh, some students do it sooner, but you know, it is usually not advised. And I said, so what if she wants to have a double major? What other double majors do you offer in communications? And then she gave me a list of about 42. She says there's 42 or 40. I can't remember the number that you can choose from. Now, I'll tell you how majors are because a lot of people don't know about this. Um, and I'll give you a very, a very, um, and I'll give you an example of that. For example, if you become, if you study engineer, you can major in electrical engineering, mechanical engineering, industrial engineering, aerospace engineering. Okay. Because it's engineering it, it, those modules are taught within the course so you can major in in modules or programs that are offered within that career so for example if an engineer suddenly says oh i graduated um let's say northwestern university just because we're talking about them with a double major in engineering and heart surgery people would go what and you're, how old are you? Okay, do you understand what that means? And I'm, I'm picking two careers that are completely apart because people think that international studies and communications is the same thing. International relations, um, and sorry, international studies and communications. International studies has nothing to do with theater. Uh, you can get African culture. International studies has to do with something completely opposite, just like engineering and being a surgeon or a doctor is. It's completely the opposite. So when somebody, if somebody were to say, as I told you before, oh, I went to Northwestern University and I graduated um, and, uh, from Northwestern University with double major in engineering and heart surgery, people will do a double take. So Megan goes and picks uh, you know, careers that people will not question. The problem that she has is that unlike before, now internet can pick it apart. But we're going to start with the serious part about that. So when she says that she graduated from Northwestern University with two majors, which are theater and international, I don't know which one it is because she says international relations, although Northwestern University does not offer international uh, relations as a major, only as a minor uh, or international studies. That would mean that she would have had to study two completely unrelated careers. And she went to university in 1999. Uh, she took time off from university to go to Argentina to do this. Um, and I really think that she did it for this reason. Because she's a grifter. She doesn't like to put in the hard work. So she managed to get her uncle through her father to get her an internship in Argentina at the U.S. Embassy. She then proceeded to take the foreign service exam. The foreign service exam is an exam that people who want to be um, in and the diplomatic world, like government, you know, but it's specifically related to diplomacy. Now, in order for you to pass, you have to take a written exam, um, of oral ex an oral exam, as well as they give you, um, they give you an exercise in negotiation. So to see how your negotiating skills, there is a medical, um, and psychological evaluation and your background is checked uh, for to see for any criminal activities uh, that would stop you from getting um, security clearances because as when you worked as diplomat you do need to have security clearance no matter even if you're just a filing assistant so because she failed that, which is quite interesting, I wonder what she failed, whether she failed the psychological exam, the written exam, uh, the negotiating exercise, um, but she failed it. So having failed it, she goes back to the States. Because I think her idea was, oh, I'm going to just take this test and screw that university, you know, uh, I'm going to become a diplomat and I'm going to be this high ranking. But when she failed that, 
then she had to go back to university. So Meghan Markle is that kind, is the kind of woman that she, if she has no other choice, she will have to work. You know, she, she did. <laughs> do you know what I mean? If she has no other choice, when her idea of doing this service, uh, the exam, because once you pass the exam, you're actually enrolled in that government uh, program that will teach you the skills that you need for diplomats. Um, and, and in some instances, they will give you, they will send you to university some, to take some courses. I don't know if the standards have changed because in some other countries, you now need a university degree in order to, um, to enter in order to even take that type of exam. I don't know if, this, if the standards are still the same in the US. But anyways, so failing that, so she started university, she takes off to Argentina to see if she can enter the diplomatic thing in, in, in order for her not to continue with the studying because that takes too much time out of her. So failing goes back to university. But that means that she skipped class because uh, even in, if we go by her interviews and the thing with this woman is such a such a pathological liar that you don't know. We know for a fact that she went to Argentina. We know for a fact she took the exam and we know for a fact she failed it. We also know for a fact that she didn't that she didn't work there. She just did an internship. So I wonder whether she went there with the view of taking that exam in order to avoid doing anything else and just take the quick way up. So, but that meant that he, she had to take a semester off from university. In university, at least, I've been to university. I mean, every, I don't know you, but once you take a semester off, you can, you cannot just pick up on the next semester because especially if you haven't done the exams, if you haven't shown up, especially back then for her, that would mean that she had to miss a year. She would have had to start again in 2000, June, August 2000 at the university and some of the courses would have been recognized. She graduated in 2003 and we go by what the university had, you know, for all the students graduating in 2003 with a BA in communications. I'm going to tell you why this is important. So she, according to that thing of the graduates of 2003 with a BA in communications, communications de uh, degree um, does allow you to major in theater. It's part of, you can major in journalism and film, all kinds of things. And one of them is theater. So most likely if she got anything would have been a BA in communications with a major in theater, which is a perfectly good um, degree. I don't know why she feels the need to lie about, oh, I major in international relations. So I asked the lady if, if how long would it take me if I want to major in theater and international studies? And she said it would take, because they're two unrelated degrees, it would take me at least six years, maybe five, if I fully dedicate myself just to that degree, work nowhere else, and even then five years is really pushing it. So we know that Meghan Markle took at least a year off. She and her junior year, she took the time off, and she didn't come back until later. So, BA in communications degree, BA uh, degree in communications with a major in theater. That's about it, which is good from Northwestern University. So why? And I asked them, and this is why they asked me not to post the, the, the call. So I said to them, but you do have an article in your website that says that a very famous person managed to get to graduate from Northwestern University with two majors, which are completely unrelated, which is theater and international relations. And some places it says international relations just by her own mouth. She said international relations. And, uh, and I said, well, you just finished telling me that that's not possible to do within that time frame because they're completely unrelated uh, degrees. And then she put me through to the personal, uh, through the PR department. And then the PR department asked me if I was a reporter. I said, no, I'm not a reporter. I'm just confused because I want my daughter to have that same graduate from Northwestern University with those two majors. And then the PR person told me that he, 
the person told me they, they thanked me for my interest and told me to pursue the careers in the normal channels. So here we go as to why Meghan Markle lies. Now we have a very, very posh and usually very serious university like Northwestern University lying because they have that article published. They did tell me that it was a paid article. And I said, yeah, but you're still putting it, you know, like a university um, website. It's not like, um, like a newspaper or Newsweek that you can pay $60,000, $100,000 to have an article published like Meghan Markle did. And you can write whatever crazy things you want to you wanna write. So, because New York Times, I think, they want, the ones who published the letter said that this was a letter by her. This wasn't an article that they investigated. There's a big difference. So they just told me that, thank me. They kept thanking me. <laughs> I said, I want you to thank me. I want you to tell me how can my daughter... I don't have a daughter, you know, but how can my daughter get the same two majors in four years? You know, uh, so they refused to answer. So I did tell them at that point, I did have, I did, I'm not Meghan Markle. I did tell them I am, I am recording this conversation. I am not a newspaper reporter. Uh, and they told me that they didn't consent to that recording be published. So the end of story, <laughs> but so, you know, so this is why Meghan, and then we have the royal family, the royal family, the monarch. And I'm not, you know, throwing shade at the monarch, but it is a fact. The only reason why Meghan Markle is getting away with that is because to put a stop to her, she would only have to say, how about Sarah? Sarah has been caught on camera selling cash, access for cash. I, sh I showed you guys and also Bookworm showed you that there's act, uh, the Honors Act of 1925, um, which was, which got a noble uh, royal assent in 1925, making illegal for anybody to, so, to sell uh, access for cash, honors for cash, anything for cash, especially when you're a, a senior, a, so, a social, sorry, a government official or a royal. Whether people like it or not, people say, you know, people have this duality about saying, oh, well, she did it as a private individual. I would absolutely agree had she used her own name as Sarah Ferguson, but she wasn't using her name. She was using the title. Yet there was no police prosecution. No, nobody went to jail because people are stripped of titles, fired from their jobs if they're government officials, and they end up in jail. Okay. Then Sarah has been, went to the United States, did the Oprah interview, and she trashed the royal family. She did trash the queen. The fact is that she was a much minor royal, whereas Prince Harry has more of a platform because of who his mother is. But basically, Duchess of York went to um to to the states trashed the royal family and an oprah interviews very good friends with oprah her two daughters have been flown in private helicopters in ibiza uh an oprah's private helicopter to go party in this major yacht in ibiza you know and if you notice this the two york princesses do not endorse anything prince william does uh, or the duchess of cambridge yet they endorse Meghan markle so please pay attention to that so let's get back to Meghan Markle. So Meghan Markle, all she has to do is point out, this is why I keep saying there has to be a purge in the royal family, because this behavior has been allowed to go on to so long that now they don't, now they don't even bother to hide it. Now they feel entitled to do it. And if they're called out, you're a hater, you're abusive. No, we're not being haters. We're calling out. The problem that we also have is that people have been calling this out for so many years. And I know there's a lot of people who are Prince Charles lovers. And I ask you, why? I seriously ask you why. If you, we shouldn't, I, Sussex Sugars are known for being intolerant, close-minded, and fanatical. There are Prince Charles Sugars as well, who are just as bad, the same as Cambridge Sugars. So we should all be more objective about how we view the royals, because at least for me, I want a monarchy that's decent. Um, 
Prince Charles, if you notice, even the press is guilty of this. They're not calling him out for the, for the selling of citizenship, the selling of honors. And it's not the first time he's been caught. So this is why Meghan feels safe, lying, trashing, uh, using the titles for the most dubious and unlawful things because she feels safe in the knowledge that in order for the royal family to stop her, a bunch of other people would have to be stopped as well and called out. And this is where this is an, a never ending, you know, spinning wheel. Like, you know, when you have like, um, what's it called that you have the little rodent running around in that wheel, you know, it's ongoing. So Meghan Markle's actions are only going to escalate. This is a woman who doesn't know the meaning of the word work right now. What is she doing? She's not, and the reason why her, her, her things fail is because she doesn't want to do the work. She just wants the fame. She just wants the knowledge and she just wants this and that. Many people are saying, yes, yeah, Serena Williams doesn't talk to her. Well, her husband is sure as hell helping Meghan Markle. Oh, Haney, I think that crazy nut is who invented Reddit. He sure as hell sticking up for her. He just tweeted a bunch of things to how people are hating on Meghan. Um, Hillary Clinton just posted, uh, oh, Megan, the, not even Megan. She didn't even use Megan's name. She said the Duchess of Sussex, you know, because now they don't even want to use Megan names. They want to use only the title. And by the way, the, the bill that Megan wrote for, advocated for, it was canceled. They took it off the table. It's not going through. Everything this woman touches turns to shit. And why? Because they don't want to do the work. She doesn't want to do the work. She thought that once she became, a, uh, I mean, the only hard work she's had to put so far is sleep with a man. That's it. That's the hard work because, you know, she has to sleep with a guy to get what she wants from the guy. That's has a word for it, right? When you get, you know, money or whatever in exchange for that. So that's Megan's hard work, sleeping with men to get what she wants. And when she's done with them and they can't offer her more, goodbye. But not only men, her father, friendships. I don't think you can even call them friendships. I think you can call them mm, targets. Every person that she sees, it's a target. It's a means to an end for her. So, but she fails one because she is very transparent people can see her um, coming a mile away. Number two, she's not smart at all. She's like a little rat, you know, who, who doesn't know what she's doing, but she thinks she does. And uh, number three, yeah, she, she's not smart at all, you know? And because she's not smart, she makes the stupid decisions. Number three, she's not willing to put in the work. This is why Oprah saw that. And Oprah knew she could exploit that. Oprah is another ruthless person. So it's incredible. The reason why she fails is she's not smart. She doesn't want to really put in the work. Suits, what's another very good example as to, it's like when she had to go back to the university, you know, because she failed the exam. So Suits was another place where she kind of received some fame. But having been there, having been very well exposed in Suits, having a moderate fame in a very small circle, but to her, that's the most fame. Instead of that being a trampoline, trampoline to another, to bigger and better projects, she actually fled to the UK to look to star in a reality TV show because there were no other projects. She started doing all these BD list movies because nobody else was offering her anything. Nobody else was. So now she's got the Duchess thing and she's doing exactly what Sarah Ferguson is doing. So Meghan Markle is not going to stop. She's not going to stop. It's only going to increase. So for the American people, and, and, and once and for all, let me tell you that the queen can issue a letters patent, send it to parliament, have it signed by parliament, and have it sent back to, um, to her for royal assent. That specifically deals with the Harris situation. And she's not going to do it. I know, I, I know people are going to come into my feed and say, oh, no, the parliament has to be involved. Of course, parliament is involved in anything, but it's merely a formality because it's been done many times. Okay. So, um, 
So for people who are doing that, Meghan Markle doesn't like to do the work. She doesn't like to work hard. She thought that having the Duchess title would open everything easy and people would be falling at their feet to do stuff. So for those of you who think that she is not talking to her celebrity friends, they are still helping her, not as publicly as before, because even Oprah's strategy backfired because the only reason why Oprah you know, got attached to her was because she thought, oh, I got this girl, she's a winner and I'm gonna, you know, <laughs> make her a superstar and I'm gonna attach myself to her just like Prince Charles attached himself to Megan. Remember how he was, oh, Megan, this, Megan, that, she's coming because he also thought that, oh, I'm gonna attach myself to this woman because, you know, her mother is biracial and, you know, and and and, and she seems to be popular right now. But when, when her true colors showed up, that she's just a piece of shit wrapped in a in a okay looking package and not anymore because age does not become her you know and it's nothing to do with that but it really age does not become her i don't know if it is because somehow your inner person reflects on your outer physique i don't know but age has not been kind to her and it's just going to get worse because she's not looking like you know, so yeah, there is a very easy way to stop Megan. Also for our United States friends, there is, I, I posted, go to my post in my YouTube channel about this uh, judgment issued in 1827 or something like that, where it forbids people using royal titles. So you can actually go there while you're also lobbying for the titles of nobility amendment to be ratified in Congress. So just do that because then she won't be able to use the Sussex title. Although, as I told you, there is already a court ruling and I posted it on my on my YouTube. What do you guys think? Do you think that she's failed because she's, you know, she, in her blog, she used to blame her not being black enough, not being white enough uh, for not getting um, roles. No, that wasn't the case. <laughs> She was just not talented enough, not pretty enough, not remarkable enough, okay? Now, the only thing that's making her stand out a little bit is that title that ranks her about all the people she was once linked to. Do you know what I mean? So let me know what you think. Why isn't she successful? Mm-hmm.